Francis, there's going to be no way back in for you. The only way for you to sell that scarf, and yeah, yeah, I know I might be worth money and you might have done well to find it. The only way for you to sell it is to give it to me. Do you know who you remind me of? This beggar who I used to see when I walked in Shoreditch. Do you know what he used to do? He used to cut a shallow, long incision into his tie, just above the knee. Just enough that would weep blood. Nothing a bandage wouldn't fix. Then he'd walk around and he'd find a nicely dressed woman. There were always women. And he'd tell her he'd fallen and ask her for money for a cab to take him to hospital. And you know, nine times out of ten, it worked. He made so much money off this that he did it every day. He opened the same slip of skin each time. He cut deeper and deeper to get through the scar tissue that was forming. Well, being he was outdoors all day, it wasn't too long until the cook got infected. But the money was still good, so he kept cutting. The infection grew. Next time I saw him, I smelled him first. A corporal putrid rot that hit me like a cricket bat to the face. I turned the corner, and there he was on crutches. The leg all yellow and withered, weeping puss. He was still asking for money for a cab to the hospital. You can find him in shortage today. He hops around with one empty trouser leg pinned up. Once he lost the leg, he started to cut the remaining one too. You see, Francis, that's you. And this whole situation is you cutting your leg. You've acted useless so long, you've become retarded. You couldn't get a fair price from that from a wealthy imbecile. So give it to me and I'll hock it. And this split I give you will be better than anything you'll ever get on your own. Well, I hope a lot. Not a fortune, but a good bit. More than you get selling on eBay. What are you trying to say, cunt? You don't trust me? Saying I'm not a man of my word? Well then, sounds like we've got a deal.